Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of today's video, we are doing a what's on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you didn't see it, I did a whole unboxing of my new iPhone about a month ago. It was a very satisfying unboxing and a very exciting video because before this phone, my last phone was the iPhone 8 Plus. In my head, I was just like, it is time for me to upgrade and I'm so happy that I did, especially because of the camera. The difference between this camera and the camera on my iPhone 8 Plus is crazy so i'm very happy with my phone i'm very excited to show you guys what is on my phone i'm going to show you all the apps that i have how i organize it what customizations i have on the phone how i edit my instagram photos like what editing filter apps i have so once again this is the iphone 13 pro max in silver with 512 gigabytes and i have on a case to buy case these are my favorite cases they're actually the cutest things ever and they're super protective starting with my lock screen this is a disposable picture from the trip to Paris that I took this summer. This is my favorite disposable that I got on the trip. My favorite photo actually. It's of me looking at the Eiffel Tower on the street that my friend and I's hotel was on. It was like amazing location. And then when we go into my phone, this is my home screen. It's another disposable from Paris. This was um, when I was walking on a bridge and then that's the Seine. And then there was this boat going by and I took a picture of it with my phone and I was like obsessed with how it looked. So then I quickly took my disposable camera out of my purse and I snapped this shot and I'm obsessed with it. But let's just start going into the apps. So this first one here is Instagram. You guys should go follow me on Instagram. This is my account. I love posting on Instagram, even though I don't post that much. I love posting on my stories a lot and I just recently redid all of my story highlights. I will show you when we get to the editing apps, how I edit all of my Instagram pictures. This next app is the camera app. Hello, and then next to that we've got the phone app and then the last one in the corner over here are my messages Now starting at the top of this first page. I have Safari then I have photos right now I have 41,084 photos and videos then I've got Gmail which is my email app Then I've got calendar which I use because I'm connected to like my family calendar then second row I've got snapchat Hello, and right now my longest streak is with my friend Sam and it's at 2015 Pretty impressive. Then I have the YouTube app, of course. Here is my channel. If you're not already, you should definitely subscribe. One of my videos just hit a million views. Thank you guys so much if you watch that video because literally one million views is actually insane to me. Like when I look at the number, I can't, like my brain can't even comprehend it. Then I've got YouTube Studio, which I'm not gonna go into because it's like all of my YouTube channel analytics, but it's a really helpful app if you are a YouTuber because it shows you all kinds of analytics about your viewers and subscribers subscribers and revenue and like you can see that on your computer too but it's really easy to have it accessible just on your phone then i have the harry potter hogwarts mystery video game i'm just gonna admit it i play this video game because when i started playing it it like starts in year one and it goes until year seven and i just can't quit like i, I can't just quit i'm not a quitter i have to see it through until i graduate so i still play that game then i've got twitter i never tweet i just mainly use it to check the news then i have tiktok i have a love hate relationship with tiktok this is my tiktok account you can go follow me because i do post on there i feel like i should set like a screen limit like a screen time limit on tiktok i actually might do that because i'm really frustrated with myself with how much i've been going on tiktok it's not good then down here i've got facebook i don't really go on it i like go on it to waste time like i'll go on it check it for like two minutes and then get off and then i've got facebook messenger can't tell you the last time i used that to contact someone because again no one's on facebook messenger and then i have a widget of me and two of my best friends michaela and jordan from my 21st birthday now moving on to the second page of apps the first thing that i have up here is settings it's settings and then next to that i've got music i don't have a lot of music on here because i'm really not a big music person which i know is really weird to a lot of people but the problem for me is that i can't listen to music when i'm doing work because it like really distracts me because i always pay attention to lyrics I'm not listening to music when I'm doing work. I'm not listening to music when I'm editing videos or watching videos The only time I listen to it is when I'm cooking or I'm like doing my skincare showering So really all I have on here are like Taylor Swift, Colleen Hoover songs, Olivia Rodrigo, and Selena Gomez Of course, then I have the notes app only like the top four notes are really notes that I can show you So I've got my shopping list for groceries and then under the groceries is like pharmacy stuff And then I've got my 2021 
and book list i've been keeping track of all the books that i've read in 2021 because i want to make a video about all of those books at the end of the year and then i've got my classes at university and then i've got laundry for my building so that i always remember what settings to put it on and how much it costs next to that i've got clock and look how many alarms i have it's ridiculous seven seven oh three seven oh eight seven ten seven fifteen seven twenty seven twenty five seven twenty nine seven thirty i don't know why that's on seven thirty five seven forty seven forty five seven fifty seven fifty four fifty five eight eight oh two oh five oh eight thirteen fifteen seventeen twenty twenty five thirty thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five forty fifty fifty five nine and the thing is is that i put all of these on to try and get myself to wake up in the morning now next to those apps i have another widget of me and three of my friends olivia michaela and chloe at camp this past year it was like the staff party and we were all taking pictures on the dock and it matches my aesthetic so well like it, it is meant to be then on the third row here we've got outlook this is my school email so i'm not going to go into it but it's like microsoft outlook like that's the software that we use then i've got rbc mobile which is my bank and it's like my favorite app icon that i did because most of them don't really have any connection to the app for my bank i put but Blair Waldorf shopping with a bunch of bags on her arms in Paris. I love it. I love it. Then I've got Slack because that's what I use for the Muse magazine club that I'm a part of at school. Then I've got TubeBuddy, which is a YouTube app. The only reason that I downloaded it in the first place is because I wanted to see like this milestone thing. And then on this last row here are most of the apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos, but I'm realizing the app that I use the most is not on here because it's like a new app that I've been using using for my filters and I never transformed it into a little app icon. So that one's missing, but I'll go through the entire process and tell you all the apps that I use. Oh my god, guys, I'm crying. I'm literally crying. January 1st, 2022, the entire Harry Potter cast is coming for a reunion. I just got, I'm crying because I just got chills. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Okay, I have composed myself. I'm cool, calm, and collected. But before I tell you my editing secrets, I wanna tell you a little bit about Caseify because they are actually sponsoring today's video. And um, look what I have here. Have you ever seen like prettier packaging and prettier cases? I am obsessed. So first I got this yellow like acid smiley face one. Then I got this one with a bunch of mini colorful hearts and you can literally see like the paint strokes on it. It's so cool. Then I got this like multi-layered pink and red heart one. I also got this really cool Libra one because this is my zodiac sign and it's like the coolest collage. They had them for all the zodiac signs so just saying and then this is so fitting with what i just experienced but i got the hogwarts castle like harry potter case with the little flying car if you didn't know case device, new impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65 percent recycled and plant-based materials and all their cases come in 100 percent recycled packaging case device, chi tech 2.0 technology not only offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet which is literally taller than a person but the shock absorbing material is now made with recycled and plant-based materials as well. Their cases are also wireless charging and 5G compatible. Casetify carries the largest variety of phone case colors and designs to fit your every mood and you can choose from their selection of curated prints or personalize a case with your favorite font and design layout or your name for a truly custom case. The cases also make great gifts for friends and family and the time has come to start thinking about Christmas gifts. It would be really sweet to get a friend or family member a one-of-a-kind custom case that you designed. Casetify's impact and ultra impact cases are also 100% BPA free, 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous. The cases feature Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria by preventing the growth of microbes and preventing bacteria from sticking to the surface in the first place. Cue the fire trucks that appear in every single one of my videos, but I usually cut them out so you don't even know that, but they appear in every single video. Casetify has also come out with new phone straps, which are so cute. This is the matte rainbow and this is the glossy rainbow. These beaded straps are made with water resistant cords and they give me very much Y2K vibes and I am obsessed. Casetify put slim bumpers on the corners of their cases to make the impact cases up to 6.6 .6 feet drop proof and the ultra impact cases up to 9.8 feet drop proof. But I mean, look at them. Even though they offer three times military grade protection, they are so cute. Casetify has dared us to drop my phone. So let's put it to the test. So this is my phone case before, literally no scratches. The bumper's in perfect condition and my screen has no cracks in it.
Perfect, nothing happened. Screen is completely perfect. The case got no scratches and the bumpers are as good as new. So if you want your own protective case to buy case or beaded phone strap, you can go to casetify.com slash Zoe Maya to get 15% off your order. I'll also have that link in my description box. You can go get your cases and get a really good deal on them. Okay, now let's get back into what's on my iPhone and I'm gonna show you all of the editing apps that I use for my Instagram pictures. Michaela just found out about Harry Potter. I'm actually gonna start on the other end of this row because I have Pinterest, which is not actually an editing app. I actually do have a Pinterest. You can follow me. This is my account. I've never really been like a big Pinterest girl, but I started making little boards. Is that what you call them? Just for myself, for like mainly picture inspiration. Okay, so now starting with the first app that I have here, this is Color Tone. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, I used to use Color Tone for every single photo I was obsessed with it and it's still a really good app but I found another one that I just prefer to use I'll still show you what color tone does though so I'm gonna take this random picture of me and my 10-year paddle from camp and you can see here in the filters area they have a bunch of different like packs of filters and I actually spent five dollars on the first pack because it was my favorite pack all of these filters make you look so tan Maldives was one of my favorites like you can totally tell I mean I would bring it down a little bit but still even if I I bring it to 40% it definitely makes my skin like more tan and I use this for so long but as I said I found a new app that I just like better then I have visco again I don't really use visco anymore this was like I had a visco phase and then I had a color tone phase and now I have a new phase but I still keep it because like you never know when you're gonna need c1 to make a photo like really colorful I need a lot of filters for my thumbnails too so it all works out then speaking of thumbnails I have over which is a really interesting app you can Photoshop pictures, you can make thumbnails, which is what I do because when you go to make a photo, you can like choose the dimension. So I choose like YouTube thumbnail, you could do like Snapchat story. Yeah, so I use this for my thumbnails a lot. I also use it for like my story advertisements for thumbnails. And then I also use it to Photoshop pictures sometimes. Then the moment you've all been waiting for, the app that I actually currently use for my photos is Tezza. Here is my Tezza app. I'm gonna go to this random photo with my friend. So I either use fresh or vintage and they just go with anything. This fresh one makes things like really bright, especially if I have a white background, this makes the white background like pop. And then vintage, I like, as you can guess, because it makes your skin more tan and it just like makes the colors really nice. Oh, here, I definitely used fresh here, yeah. Look how much brighter it made the photo. That's what I use. I also often will go into like just regular photos and use like the Apple editing tools so I'll like increase brightness increase saturation depending on the photo honestly and yeah moving on to my third page so this is me and my friend Emily who went to Paris with me this is us in front of Cafe de Fleur and then moving on to the last page I have a little widget with my favorite quote from Harry Potter and then I have my dog Cooper hugging me he is adorable and then I have my two friends from school Tori and Maggie over here here is my app library. I obviously have so many more apps that are like not on my home screens because I had to make little app icons for every single one of them. And I was not gonna do that for every single app, especially apps that I don't use that much. But yeah, that is just what's on my iPhone. If you have any questions at all about the phone, my apps, my Instagram filters, literally anything, you can leave a comment down below because I respond to every single comment. You can also talk to me about literally anything because I love to talk to you guys. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Don't forget to go to casetify.com slash Zoe Maya to get 15% off a case to buy case. But that is going to be all for today and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!